Hey everyone, so today we are going to be ombreing our hair. Um, I've ombreed my hair plenty of times before, but uh, yeah, this is gonna be my second time ombreing my hair. And I remember last year around this time I ombreed my hair and I told you guys I'd film a video for you showing you how I did it, but I actually never got to it before I dyed my hair one really dark color. But um, yeah, so that is what this video is. And um, quick this. Disclaimer, I already ombre my hair once before this and I'm going to tell you really quickly what I did and then I'll show you exactly like the products that you need, the things that I have here that will help you do this. It's really not that hard of a process but um, yeah. So I already lifted my hair. You can see um, it comes off more I guess orange on here but it's really just a caramel color and it goes up to my very dark roots. So yes, uh, I, my natural color that I had before this was like a chocolate brown and the shade that I used was um, the L'Oreal High Color Blondes for Dark Hair Only and the shade I used when I first lifted it was a um, Ash Blonde because Ash Blonde cancels out a lot of the orange pigments that you have when you lift your hair. So that's the first color that I chose to get to this kind of like caramelish color and I just want to lift it a little bit more um, so yeah now I'm going to be using the natural blonde shade and this is the shade that I use mostly all the time I just use the other one because I didn't want to have that ashy base so all you're going to need is one of these unless you have really long hair um, I have short hair so I just use one of these or even when I have a little bit of longer hair it was like over here I still use this and then you're going to need a 30 or 40 volume developer. Um, I have a 40 volume developer, but right now I'm holding the 31. My 40 is over there. But I will be using a 40 volume developer. And then all you need is a mixing bowl and a measuring cup. And some people like using this, which is the normal brush that you'd use to dye your hair. But I actually like using a toothbrush. And the reason why I like using a toothbrush is because it really when you take your pieces of hair, it really lets you place your ombre however you want it. So when you like go down like that and you're going to brush it in, you just brush it in the ends. But then you can like really mesh it well into your hair. So that's why I like using a toothbrush. And then the other thing you're going to need are some pre-cut foils. Um, it just helps the, to develop it. And then of course some hair clips. So yeah, those are all the products that you will need and a dirty t-shirt, you know, the general typical things that you would need to do your hair. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Quick, another side note, uh, this will damage your hair. It won't damage it to the extent that something like bleach would damage your hair because bleach does a terrible, terrible, terrible just bad damage and I guess if you didn't want to lift it quite as fast as me because I like doing things really fast I would suggest using the 30 volume developer instead of 40 I'm gonna use the 40 but yeah you can feel like a little bit of damage in your ends like sometimes pieces of your hair will stick together at the very bottom if you have already damaged strands you just want to be careful so yeah let's just get into this and We'll see how it turns out. Obviously, you're going to want to start combing through your hair, split it in the middle, and then create sections. Right now, I'm parting off my bangs because I want to highlight them in a certain way. So yeah, then you're just going to want to section off your hair into three different parts. And then I just like really using the toothbrush because it's really easy to control it. But um, for the bottom hair, I would say it's not as important to be so thorough, so I just kind of take bigger chunks. But as you will see throughout the rest of my hair, I will take smaller chunks. Or smaller pieces.
And really quick guys, I do apologize because um, my camera actually ended up dying after this clip so you won't see me do the rest of my hair but I'm pretty sure by now you guys pretty much get the idea of how I did it. And a quick side note, I left it on for about an hour even though the package only says to leave it on for a maximum of 30 minutes. Hey everyone, so today we are going to finish toning my hair. Um, it looks a whole lot more orange, but when I step forward, it changes the tone. So this is really the actual tone that it is. It's like a caramel face shade, but when I step back, the camera changes color and it makes it look a whole lot more orange. So it's not this orange color, it's this color. Whenever I step forward, it changes back. So yes, it is this um, shade. And we're just gonna tone it and I'm using the Wella Charm T18 so this is the product that I'm using and I'm using it with this so all you do is you mix one full bottles of these which is 1.4 ounces and you mix it with two parts of these which is 2.8 ounces well this one's 36 but you have a measuring cup so just good to know so I'm just gonna estimate honestly because I don't have a measuring cup on me and I don't want to go find it so I'm just gonna pour in what I think would be 2.8 so yes this is the 20 volume developer just in case you guys are wondering and when you mix this one in it's gonna come out um, purple and then you just place that all over your head and you leave it on for about 30 minutes and then you wash it out so here we go by the way the other hair dye smells pretty bad but it doesn't smell that bad Oh, this one, this one stinks. Yeah. Don't smell that. It stinks really bad. So yeah, I don't have any gloves on me, but if you guys have gloves, this is the part where I would suggest you use them because this is gonna get all over your head. Okay, now I'm just gonna leave this in my hair for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it out and later on I will show you guys how it turns out. Okay, now I got purple on my forehead. That's nice. Hey guys, so um, this is the final product of how my hair turned out. Again, it looks more orange because of the lighting, but when I step forward it'll show more of the true color which is a caramel shade. So this is how it really looks right now, what you're seeing. And it's just um, a caramel golden shade. And now it's gonna turn back orange. But yeah, that is how my hair turned out. It is ombre. Um, the health wise of it, it feels pretty good. I'm gonna have to baby it for a while, but overall I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm a little bit under the weather, if you can tell. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in my next one, and I'm going to go take a nap. Okay, bye guys. So, I don't know if I'm actually going to post this video, but I just wanted to do some quick talking. I have like 10 minutes. Um, I have like 10 minutes, yeah, that's what I said.